Hello, today's topic is DPF aka diesel particulate filter. This DPF is on our, on our loaders to meet the stage 5 emission standards. Let's go and have a look about the DPF, how it looks and where, it's, where it is on the machine. This is the DPF. The DPF is equipped on loaders 755, 760 and 860. This DPF collects soot and other small particles. The regen process, which happens inside the DPF, is automatic and it works perfectly when you're driving with variable styles and avoid idling. Okay, the DPF is located under this cover. In normal usage, the user don't have to worry about the DPF. It will work when the loader is working. Next, we're gonna look how the DPF is working on our loaders and what it does during the drive time. The way the loader does the regeneration depends on the suit level which is collected to the DPF. In the first stage of regeneration, the DPF will collect suit and the regeneration process is automatic. Only thing where the user might see that the regeneration is happening is warning on the display which tells you that the exhaust gas is hot. This happens because the exhaust gas might arise to 600 degrees of Celsius. On that point, you need to avoid driving near combustible materials. Of course, this process can be stopped from the button on the display. And when you are somewhere safe, you can press the button again and the loader will start the regeneration process automatically. If the user can continue driving, the regeneration can be postponed and the engine can be shut down. When the loader is used again, and the conditions are met, the regeneration process will happen again. Second stage of regeneration process. When the suit level is high enough on the loader, the display will tell you and ask you to do the park the regeneration. When this info appears, you need to check that the engine temperature is above 60 degrees. Stop the loader engage the parking brake, check that the pump is on first pump and then connect the auxiliary hydraulics on. Put the RPMs on idle mode and press the button on the display to start the regeneration process. After that the process is fully automatic and it will take 40 to, 40 to 16 minutes. The regeneration process is automatic but don't leave the loader unsupervised when the regeneration process is ongoing. In regeneration stage 3, the user actions are the same on the stage 3 than stage 2. The only difference between stage 2 and stage 3 is the uh, symbols and the engine power is reduced by 15% and the engine is in limp home mode. If the previous three stages of regeneration process are neglected, the following symbols will appear on the info display. When these symbols appear, the user can't do anything for the loader. They must contact the nearest Avant authorized service shop or the, or the dealer.